Hey 2022, it's 2021. I record things way too early. What's going on guys? In today's video, I'm gonna dive right into how to make a Notion habit tracker that has streaks in it. So if you wanna know how to do that, please hit the like button, subscribe, do all the things, cause I, I need it for validation. And if you want to save time, go into the description down below and buy this template because you know I, I don't really, it, it, time value, I don't know. If you wanna watch me make the thing, you can watch me make the thing, but if you wanna save some time, just, just, go and, just go and get the thing. Let's dive into how to make a habit tracker with streaks in Notion right now. All right, so first and foremost, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna take a page and just make slash page habit tracker plus streaks. And then if we go to add cover, maybe just do a little unsplash here and just add habits, put a little uh, check mark is what I always like to do for the habit trackers. So I always like to make things full width as well for things like this. And what we're gonna do here is we're gonna need a few different things. So we're gonna need um, a calendar, a habit streaks table, and uh, you're gonna see exactly what I'm talking about here. So first and foremost, what we can do is if we go to make a little header and type out habit tracker, calendar slash calendar, and then duplicate this, move this to the side. It's always important when you're making inline, or not inline databases, but embedded columns or inline columns that you, or nested columns, sorry, that you go and you, you do headings first. So if we tuck this guy in here, Go habit tracker. So there's gonna be two different databases is actually the solution that I have here. And it's a little bit of a rudimentary solution, but it is a solution nonetheless, because this is going to be a habit tracker that allows you to have a daily look at what your different things are, as well as help you figure out how long you've been doing them for and actually use some formulas as well to get a daily view in there too. So if we go here and just do another little check mark here, the properties I want to show for you guys are first and foremost, if we make a new one here, let's, we're going to do push ups and then planks and then bicep curls. This is going to literally be my physical habit tracker and I'm going to like remake it for you guys here. So if we go here, then what we need to do is that we need to make some properties for this. So obviously the date's going to be something that's by default in most things. So then we can change this to a select property and have the tags be uh, bicep curls, push-ups, and then planks. And then for me, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to make a few formulas here. So first and foremost, for the bicep curls and push-ups, I like to have uh, myself do about 100 of these a day, uh, and it's gonna be the same property here. So if we go to a formula property, or we actually, we, first and foremost, sorry, we need to make a number. So I would want to call this one push up slash bicep count. And then we would want to make a formula that, that coincides with this. And this formula would be a essentially a percentage first. And then we're going to make a check mark that goes along with it. So we're going to call this uh, push up slash bicep curl progress. So it's going to be the property of the push up bicep curl divided by 100. And then we press enter after the 100 or press done and then change this to a percent. So as you can see, if I type five, it's going to be 5% because it's out of 100 as the goal. And then if we go into one last thing here, we're going to make another formula, which is going to be a check mark formula. And this formula is going to be called push up, daily push up slash curl check or slash bicep check, whatever you want to call it. And this is going to essentially be like, okay, is the property push up bicep progress greater than or equal to one? So this is essentially making it so that once it hits 100 or goes to 101, it'll check it off. And then what we're gonna wanna do is do the exact same thing for the planks. Now the push-up section is is already done and the, and the bicep curl section is already done. But if we go into the plank section, what we can do is do the same property. So we gotta do a counter here, but for me, I like to do about three minutes a day of this. So if we do the uh, daily, or we do plank seconds, then we do a formula that's similar. So it's daily planks, or we can just call it planks progress. So in this case, it's going to be similar to the bicep curl one where we just press the uh, the counter. Then we divide it by 180 because that'll be three minutes. Press enter. So then if we go again to the next formula, we would do planks progress. 
we do planks check and it's going to be the same property where we go to this uh, planks progress and if it is greater than or equal to one i always hit enter and it does that sorry guys press done if i get to 180 here it'll check it off because this planks progress is one now i can obviously change this to a percentage and it's better to look at but if i get to 150 it's not going to check it off if i get to 183 it will check it off if i get to 180 it'll check it off and then a nice thing that we, we're going to do regarding a daily look at this is we're going to make a what I like to call an any check. Similar to what we do with uh, the any check in our um, second brain. So if we go to any check here, move this guy to the top. So for the any check property, what you're going to do is you're going to press both of yours and put a or in between them. So both the different checks put an or in between them and you press done. So essentially if either of these get checked off, then this will get checked off. So if we do 100 here, see it checks it off. 50 didn't do anything. We did it for this one. Doesn't do anything until I get to 180. So it checks both. And this is actually just a way to make it easier looking at it wise for calendar purposes and for daily habit tracker purposes. So if we go into the properties here, if we select any check, now it gives you like a universal view as to whether um, these are all checked off because they do have different properties and goals, right? So if I do 100 here, it's going to show the check mark here regardless. And if we show the inverse of the other one, you can see this also does the same thing. So I'm going to actually duplicate this, uh, or I'm not going to duplicate this. I'm going to show you what this does in regards to a daily view. So if we do um, daily view slash streaks what we can do here is we can take this and turn it into an inline database and obviously or not an inline database a link database and my personal preference here is that you would make it in something like a, a daily planner view and make a list view with a link database so for me change the properties to show any check and i like to filter things so that it's like a daily view right so that would mean that w the filter that you start with is where date is today and where the any check is not checked off so this leaves you if you take off this date property because obviously it's a daily view it's going to be today uh, this leaves you with a list view that basically has what you need to do for the rest of the day here so as you can see these are checked off and once i uncheck them off by putting zero on here it had come back so then you can go in here and put in manually what you want to so i'm going to remove the planks and then show you if I go in here and type 180, because I got to the three minutes, it's checked off. So throughout the day, you can like add your progress to these goals and then it'll check it off for the day. And then the next thing I want to show you is actually how you can have a streaks database with this. So this is something that's a little bit rudimentary. However, it does kind of give you a nice uh, view of, of what's going on. So if we go to another database here, I'm going to actually probably grunge this one tick. So if we go and type slash inline uh, table, and then we type out streaks, habit streaks maybe. I want to give it a little icon that shows a clock or stopwatch, something to that effect, whatever your preference is on that. But then what we need to do property wise here is actually make a date property and then make two different equations that are interesting. So if we go to formula here, actually I want to be clear on this. It's called this start date. Then we're going to call this one streak length. And the last equation we're going to do is now. So for example, let's say we started these streaks on December 13th, 2021. So the start date for bicep curls be then. Let's do another example. And actually let's pretend that I started like the push-ups a week prior. And I'm going to actually just duplicate this a couple times for reference. And let's pretend like we actually did all of these as well. So if we go to the bicep count, add 100 to all of them. So we got bicep curls. And then if we do a push-up, we can pretend that it started on December 6th. Now if we go to this, what we want to do for the now one is literally put now, then put a parentheses, two parentheses here, and it'll show you the time here. So this equation is the, the streak equation that's important. So we're going to do this. It's going to be date between, and then we're going to type end parentheses. Then we're going to select the today, the now property. This can be titled now or today. It doesn't really matter. So then what we're going to do is put start and then parentheses property start date. So we select this and then we put another parentheses and then a quote days quote parentheses plus one. So this tells you how many days the streak is. So since it started today, we're on one. Now, if we get to the bicep curls or sorry, the, the push-ups here, 
we can see that the streak length is eight. And what we can do is we can filter out this so that we do a different view. Let's do, um, or we can actually keep a table view if, if you'd like. Just change the way that it looks really quick. I would say showing the streak length and the start date is pretty good. So here you'd have a nice little look at how many days you've done something. So obviously it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight days. The way that you can make this um, more accurate is by essentially any time that you mess up and you miss a day, for example, say I missed on the 9th, I would then change the start date for push-ups to the 10th and the streak length will adjust. So that's how you make a daily habit tracker with streaks in Notion. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed this one, please, like I said, do all the vanity metric things because, yeah, ego. And with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.